back with another video. And before I get started with this review here, I want to say thanks for stopping by. And if this is your first time here, if you haven't done so already, make sure you do the right thing and hit the subscribe button below. And if you enjoyed the video then, give your girl a thumbs up. Alright, so let's get it. I have this box here. There's a lot going on with the design of it, but I'm just gonna run right through it. So on both my right and my left side, there's some silver foil text. And it starts back here, it says Pata Got Love For All on my right, and it wraps downward. And then similarly on my left, it says Get Familiar. And then before the box is open or the lid is open, it says Team Pata here in that same treatment, but the font style is a little different. So this is a collaboration with Pata, so there's some co-branding going on with the design of the box. So the Pata logo is on the top lid in a burnt orange color, or as the colorway is called, it's in Monarch. And then right below it, the Nike in the swoosh is in a bluish gray color, or I think it's also called Noise Aqua. And then on this shorter end here, there's some text as well as a palm tree or a coconut tree. I don't know the difference between the two. And then it's in a magenta fuchsia color. And this is a size 4. Which is my size. So let's take a look inside. This is the Nike Air Max 1 collaboration with Pata in the Monarch colorway. And this is the first colorway out of a few that we'll be releasing with this particular design. So Pata is a Dutch streetwear and sneaker boutique based in Amsterdam and it was founded by Edson and G in 2004. So this is not Pata's first collaboration with Nike. It's not even their first collaboration with Nike on some Air Max 1s. So their first collaboration was in 2006 and that was for the homegrown Air Max 90s. And then for their 5th anniversary, they released 5 different colorways on the Air Max 1s and I thought they were super dope. And then they also worked on some Air Forces, they worked with Jordan Brand to release some 7s. And so unlike their 5th anniversary design where they took the Air Max 1s, changed up the colorway or added some different materials, with this particular design released this year, this was changed up a little bit more. So they took Tinker Hatfield's design of the Air Max 1s that was originally released in 1987 and added additional waves to the mudguard which I thought was super interesting. And so these released on two different platforms. It was on the Pata website as well as the sneakers app. So I hit on these on the sneakers app and I was super juiced about it. So let's go to some details. For the upper of the shoe, the most standout feature is the wavy mud guard, as I mentioned earlier, just because it's something really different from the silhouette of the Air Max 1s. And it's in the Monarch color, which is like a burnt orange. I think it was inspired by Monarch butterflies. And the same color and materials can be found on the swooshes on both the lateral as well as medial side. Same thing with the heel overlay. On the lateral side of the mud guard, there is a mini swoosh embroidered on in that metallic silver color, which I thought was super cute. For the panels behind the swooshes as well as the top part of the heel, it's made out of a really soft suede in a pure platinum color which is like a silvery white tint. For the base on these Air Max 1s, it's made out of mesh in a metallic silver color so that can be found at the toe as well as the collar. On the back of the heel, Nike Air with the swoosh is embroidered on the white suede in that monarch color. So let's take a look at the right shoe. shoe and before I go into the right shoe I want to point out that this pair comes with the anklet. For the anklet it's a Figaro link with a swoosh, Pada branding as well as a Suriname flag which pays homage to the Pada owners. 
So back to the right shoe, these shoes come with two sets of laces and already fully pre-laced on our cotton flat pure platinum laces similar to the overlays. And the alternate set is in a cream color so you have options so if you want to switch it up and swap them out you can. I'm gonna do a lace swap from right on feet look so make sure you stay tuned for that. For the tongue on these shoes is made out of a cream colored suede and then for the tongue tag a white patch is stitched on and there's a pata logo and it says Air Max right underneath it so there's some co-branding there for you. For the inside of the shoe, the sock liner is in cream and same thing goes for the insole. And then stamped on the insole is the Pata logo in the Monarch color. For the polyurethane foam midsole, it's in a cream color so I think it looks really good because it ties the shoe together very well. And at the heel, there is a window cut out to expose the air bubble unit. And the air chambers are in a deep Bordeaux burgundy color. For the outsole of the shoes, this is the classic waffle outsole silhouette for the Air Max 1s. And it's tri-colored, so there's some tan, monarch, as well as that deep burgundy Bordeaux color that's the same as the chambers of the air bubble. So I like these shoes a lot and I think the colorway is super dope. There's going to be a few more colorways that release and rumors are that it's going to be a noise aqua color which is like a bluish color and then a pink color or like a fuchsia color. So if you ever get your hands on these or your feet in them, make sure you go to the size and hang tight because I'm going to show you all what they look like on feet with a lace swap. Perfect. 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 